Anybody who's fished Algonquin Park in the spring knows that the trout fishing can be quite good. Problem is you have to get back, back into the backcountry, away from Highway 60 in particular, in order to get into good trout fishing. So in order to do that, um, you need to put some distance behind you with usually a lot of portages and then therefore you need light equipment. So I like to reduce the amount of gear, especially my fishing tackle. This spring I'll be traveling over 200 kilometers over seven or eight days in order to reach some prime fishing grounds and to just get some solitude on a solo canoe trip. So I need to lighten my gear even more than usual. Um, but that of course includes my tackle box. So what I'm gonna do is, so, on. so what I'll do is I'll just bring this and it slips into the pocket of my fishing jacket and you know uh, really not a lot in here and even half of this I'm sure I won't use but on this particular trip I am bringing a fly rod and, and spinning rod. Last year I caught most of my fish and I caught like 150 fish in six days mostly brook trout, one big lake trout um, almost all of them were just caught on small spinners like that. They're very productive in the park. These EGB spoons are are popular in the park. The fish seem to like it. Uh, most of the bait fish that I've seen, especially in the rivers, are more bronze color than silver flash. So uh, these things, uh, I can see how why they would work well. So I brought a couple for this trip. So that's the spinning. Spinning uh, gear lures. I don't know how much I'm going to use them. I plan on doing more fly fishing this year. Uh, but anyway, they're light, doesn't take up much room, and this will be my kit for the entire summer for also for um, for pan fishing trip, other trip, trip fishing trips. Bunch of hooks here. Most of these could probably come out. There's a couple of fl small flies in here as well. The uh, suckers are spawning in the spring in the creeks and rivers and the trout are in feeding on the sucker spawn so I've got a couple of um, egg patterns got a few uh, small worm patterns these flashy streamers should work very well I haven't tried them before in the park uh, but since they you know they're as flashy as the uh, spoons and spinners so I'm sure these things will work very well and you know, I've heard and I've experienced myself that that uh, brook trout in uh, Algonquin Park are more meat eaters. They're eating minnows, and uh, I, I caught one a couple of years ago, big uh, female brook trout that ended up deep hooking. So I kept it, and uh, she had a mouse in her stomach. So also a bunch of woolly buggers and other nymph patterns for bottom bouncing, which they'll work as well, especially. Uh, in the spring, bouncing those along the uh, the fast water base of the, the rapids, and I've got one big aggressive aggressor uh, pattern. Uh, I forget what that's called, but uh, anyway, that that's a big ugly thing that they'll attack. I'm sure they, they're very competitive at, in the rivers. So, I mean, they'll be trying to outcompete each other, getting racing to your to a big flashy lure. So. And then we got some little muddlers, which very closely resemble the the uh, small minnows that are in the rivers. A couple of small small minnow baits, which actually found those quite pr productive as well. That's um, small rapala extra up, I think it is small choice of uh, perch rapala. There are quite a few perch in the park, and the brook trout and lake trout do feed on them, so I can use that in the lake as well. So besides that, the only other thing I always bring, I bring these on every trip I go on, what, no matter what the species are. I've caught lake trout, brook trout, pike bass, you know, other panfish, um, walleye. So I've caught just about everything on this. You see this one's really chewed up with teeth marks. That's a newer one. I've uh, squeezed the hooks on them. I don't get hooked myself and so you're out in a trip it's not nice to hook yourself with barbed hooks uh, but also uh, for quicker release I don't keep many trout in the park.
these are they don't fit in this small taco box so what I'll do is typically just bring a, a package and I can fit two of them in there the only problem with that is being cardboard by the end of the week it's deteriorated it's falling apart uh, so I think this year I'm just gonna put a treble guard treble hook uh, guards on the lure you know two of them and then I can slip that right in my top in my uh, the pocket of my life jacket just like it is so that's my trout fishing and panfish set up so what else do I bring uh, a cup one of these depending on which species again this is 15 pound floral carbon it's, it's very uh, clear and and thin so that's a uh, leader material you can use that use that to retie leaders and tippets and I've got a lighter one here I don't know six or ten pound floral carbon thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the upcoming video of my spring trip which is either going to be the Last week of April or the first week of May, depending on when I say it is this year.